Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are talking about the skin, how to get it nice, glowy, bronzy, beautiful, you know, like this. If you guys are interested in watching this, definitely keep on watching. I didn't want to make too long of an intro, I just wanted to pop on here and say hello. I enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys find it informative. But without further ado, we are just going to get started. So as most people know, skincare is very important, not only in itself, but definitely when it comes to applying makeup. How can you possibly sit and want to apply makeup to your face without a clean canvas and still expect it to come out looking good? So the first step into making your skin glowy is definitely taking care of your face. The first product that I like to go in with is a toner, a toner or an astringent. The astringent I'm going in with now is the Clean and Clear Deep Cleansing Astringent. This product is oil free. I love anything oil free, especially since my skin provides more than enough oil for itself. It contains 2% salicylic acid for acne prone skin and is known to thoroughly cleanse your pores. This is definitely my backup plan if I miss any makeup or dirt the night before. And as you guys can see, my face was a little had a little dirt so definitely useful going in with this before makeup because I know that my face is like super clean so I like to go in with a moisturizer especially on days where I don't really necessarily care to wear primer or I just don't put it on I at least want a barrier between my skin and my makeup so moisturizer is definitely a step that I do do daily Since the goal is to have an overall glowy appearance the type of moisturizer you use is very beneficial and can have a lasting effect on your makeup i have been loving the survey moisturizing lotion it's a very lightweight formula that provides 24 hour hydration and it won't clog your pores moving on to makeup preparation and the actual application of the makeup itself i like to go in with multiple primers to kind of prep my face for that natural dewy glowy look so you'll see me going with several different products but each product has its own benefit and you don't necessarily have to go in with all of these products you can just choose one of the three you can use all three whatever it is it's up to you but this is just my preference so i'm going to start off with the Too faced primer and this primer is definitely my first choice for this kind of look it hydrates the skin for a dewy looking finish it also has coconut water and it's parodic based ingredients and skin revivers this is a silicone free primer and it's very proactive so I like to focus this product mostly on my t-zone area you don't necessarily have to use this primer you can go in with other primers of your choice two different options that I have here with me is the MAC Strobe Cream or for a drugstore option you can use L'Oreal Paris the new um, well it's not new anymore but it's the Magic Lumi light infusing primer and this adds an additional glow to your skin so you have these two as well as the hangover or any other one that you guys want to try Using the Farcelli Rose Gold Electra Drops, I can ensure my face is getting moisture as well as my lips. This lightweight oil adds a definite glow to the skin while still providing moisture. I don't like to add too much of this product as you guys can see because my face is naturally oily most days. So I don't need too much of this product. But it still works, you know, oily skin and all. I still love the glow it gives like you can already just tell from those steps alone up until this point that my face is already glowing now for the product most of you have been waiting for me to talk about is the l'oreal lumi glotion now this isn't a self tanner but it is a uh, an illuminating uh, face tint and this product you guys is so freaking bomb this product comes in four shades, fair, light, medium, and deep. It illuminizes and can be worn under or over your makeup. Besides the glow that it gives, this 
uh, Glotion has definitely proven to darken some of my lighter foundations, which I'm so grateful for. So this was definitely a good find. If you're not using it to luminize your skin and go for that bronze glowy look like this whole video is about, you can definitely use it to darken some of your lighter foundations that are too light for you. I just love this stuff and I don't know what I would do without it at this point because I use it all the time now. It's become a staple in my makeup routine. For sure. So now for the foundation, I have chosen to use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I chose to use it for two reasons. One, the name, obviously sheer and then glow. I want something that's glowy. I don't want something that's mattifying. If that's your preference, that's your choice, then by all means use it. But for me, I wouldn't necessarily recommend to use a mattifying foundation or mattifying anything to get glowy skin. It's just the opposite and it doesn't really make sense. Two, this is my favorite foundation of all time. This foundation does have vitamin C which brightens the skin and it even evens out your skin tone. And it is said to be for normal to dry skin but again I love it and I really don't find any problems with using it on my oily skin. So guys, I applied my lashes, my contour, my concealer, and my powder. The reason why I didn't do it on camera is because it's not necessarily essential to making your makeup look glowy and flawless. But if you're confused on what kind of concealer to use, I would suggest using a breathable creamy concealer versus, or liquid concealer versus a, like a cream. I would suggest using that under your eyes. If you want to know what I use, I use this Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer by Rimmel. And I am wearing the Jasmine Brown Lashes in the style Curly Queen. These ones are my lashes. And I really, really love these lashes. So that's what I used. Now moving on to bronzer. I am going to use my favorite and pretty much the only... Not the only bronzer I own, but the only glowy bronzer that I own. And I promise you guys, this will be the last time I use this bronzer in a video for a while. I've purchased a new one. Once it gets here, I will um, be doing a review on it with some other products that I have. But for today, we are going to go in with this Makeup Revolution bronzer that you guys have seen over and over again. But I just feel like it gives such a beautiful glow. This bronzer is vegan. It's cruelty free and gluten free. It's full of glow. Pigment is definitely not an issue and it applies so beautifully on the skin. So the final step is highlight and I have many highlights but I figured the best one to use for this kind of tutorial is the Fenty Beauty. I actually have two here. This one and I also have this one. So this bigger one is Diamond Ball Out. It's the newest one. And then I also have Hustler Baby. I'm going to go in with both because I just like to be extra glowy. If you're not crazy about highlighter, you can just use one. You don't have to use any. You can stop with just the bronzer because as you see, I still got like a little glow going on. But I'm going to go in with both of these. Rihanna's Fenty highlighters have no parabens or sulfates. And it illuminizes beyond other highlights I own. And just to kind of set this highlighter into my skin so it's not sitting on top of it, I am going in with a beauty blender just to really blend it into my skin. And of course, you can't forget your setting spray. I'm going to use the Morphe setting spray and I'm just going to spray that on my face. And you're good to go. Dance with me, move your feet, I'm feeling in the space between. Gotta give yourself a moment that your body needs